It's now time for Heart Matters. Share your true to life stories of love, wherein hope and healing comes within, on Moments of Love with John Erickson. Hello and welcome to uh, the Heart Matters segment of Moments of Love. Today's letter sender is from Mabalakat Pampanga, who is asking for an advice to uh, her love problem. And here is her letter. Dear John, just call me Miss Daydreamer. I am 22 years old from Mabalakat Pampanga. I just need an advice from you, John. This is about my ex-boyfriend. We've been together for three years. Kahit lima na ang aking naging boyfriend, ito pa lang ang nagtagal at bumilang ng taon. So I can say to myself that I love him and I valued our relationship. I accepted him in my life. Whoever he is, whatever he is, and whatever he has. At kahit magkaiba ang mundo namin, I loved him with all my heart. I gave everything to him, as in everything. Whenever I loved someone, I loved so hard, John. But still, I felt that I was taken for granted. During those times, I thought, siya na ang makakasama ko for the rest of my life. Kaya, pati kaluluwa ko, sa kanya ko lang unang naibigay. John, tulad ng ibang relationship, hindi naging perfect ang pagsasama namin. When he became my boyfriend, halos ako ang nagdala sa relasyon namin. Hindi naging healthy para sa akin ang naging relasyon namin dahil lahat ibinigay ko at wala akong tinira para sa sarili ko. Pati family ko, nakalimutan ko na. And he is one of the reasons why I failed my board exam. Marami mang naging dahilan para hiwalayan ko siya during those times. But still, hindi ko pa rin nagawa. Dahil umaasa ako na baka magbago pa siya. I gave all my time to him, John. At nagbago naman siya. Pero ang pagbabagong iyon ay panandalian lamang pala. At lalo siyang naging worst since nag-iba ang taong pinakikisamahan niya. Because of that, it came up to the point na napuno ako at nakipaghiwalay sa kanya. It was so hard and painful in my part, John, because I love him so much. Pero nung mga time na yon, that was the only thing I know na tamang gawin. Worst, hindi man lang niya ako pinigilan nang makipag-break ako sa kanya. Though he said to me na huwag ko daw siyang iwanan dahil hindi niya kaya. That's the only thing he said, John. But he did nothing. Through text lang ako nakipag-break sa kanya. Because I know hindi ko magagawa yon kapag kaharap ko siya dahil sa sobrang pagmamahal ko sa kanya. Honestly speaking, John, Umasa talaga ako na pipigilan niya ako at gagawa siya ng paraan para bumalik ako sa kanya. Because he said, he loves me so much, but it didn't happen. So I moved on. Kinalimutan ko ang lahat. Three months pa lang kaming nag-break and I already heard that he has a new girlfriend. Pero hindi ako nasaktan sa nabalitaan ko, John. Nasaktan ako ng bongga nang malaman ko kung gaano siya todong nag-effort para lang ligawan ang babaeng yon. 
May mga roses and candlelight dinner pa daw siyang ginawa at kung ano-ano pa. Pero before pa naging kami at hanggang sa naging kami for three years, ni wala siyang naging effort na ginawa sa akin na ganoon dyan. Kaya naisip ko tuloy kung minahal nga ba talaga ako o hindi ng aking ex. Gayun pa man, hinayaan ko na lamang na lumipas ang sakit na yon. Pinatawad ko na lamang siya sa aking sarili. Sinikap kong kalimutan siya at nagsimula akong muli. Hanggang sa naibalik ko ang aking sarili, naging happy ako at hindi naman ako pinabayaan ni Lord. I changed for the better. During those times, may mga lalaki rin gustong pumasok sa buhay ko. But I rejected them, John. Not because I don't like them. Dahil kung tutuusin, they are much better than my ex-boyfriend. But it's because I am not yet ready to love again. Radio's fine. It helps me forget. Gusto ko lang, kapag muli ako nagmahal ay yung buong buo ako. Kaya mas pinili ko munang mahalin ang sarili ko bago muling makipagrelasyon. Gusto ko munang tuparin ang aking mga pangarap na nasira when we were still together. Sa kabila noon, John, wala akong regret sa naging relasyon namin. At least, I became happy and I performed my role as his lover. No guilt feelings. With my decision, John, though it was so painful na mawala siya sa buhay ko, I still know that I made the right decision. With that, nagkaroon ako ng peace of mind sa aking sarili. It's been a year now since we broke up. Wala na akong nabalitaan pa about him. At never na akong nakibalita sa mga kaibigan namin. Yung barkada kasi niya at barkada ko ay naging magkabarkada na rin. Though wala na kami ng aking ex-boyfriend, kinausap pa rin ako at pinapahalagahan pa rin ng kanyang mga magulang. They keep on saying na ako lang ang gusto nila para sa kanilang anak. Last month, dumating ang daddy niya from abroad. Madalas niya akong tawagan almost every day dahil gusto daw niya akong makita. Part of me, John, gusto kong pumunta. But I was so hesitant because I don't want to see my ex-boyfriend doon sa bahay nila. But then last week, 
It was two days bago pabalik ng abroad ang father niya. Sinundo nila ako sa bahay. That's why I had no choice but to go with them. They were so happy when they saw me again. Then after half an hour, biglang dumating ang ex-boyfriend ko kasama ang kanyang new girlfriend. Yun pa naman ang ayaw na ayaw kong mangyari, John. So I just gave respect to my ex-boyfriend and his new girlfriend. Nakakainis lang kasi na nagkita kami na hindi ako ready at sobrang hangard ng dating ko. Kaya feeling ko tuloy, loser ako that time. To be honest, John, nakaramdam ako ng pagkadurog ng puso at panlalambot sa kalamnan ng mga sandaling yon. Pero hindi ko yon ipinakita sa kanila. I also realized na namiss ko siya. During that time, gusto ko siyang yakapin ng mahigpit pero hindi na pwede. Narealize ko tuloy na mahal ko pa rin pala siya sa kabila ng lahat. At ngayon, buo na akong muli and a much better person. Parang gusto ko siyang bumalik muli sa buhay ko. I know hindi na pwedeng mangyari yon, Kaya pinipigilan ko na lamang ang sarili ko sa nararamdaman ko, John. I guess if I really love him, I should let him go. Because if we are really meant for each other, I know time will come. But if not, I will just accept it with all my heart. Total lilipas at mawawala din naman ang nararamdaman kong ito. John, I hope you can help me. Please give me some advice. I have so many questions in mind. Do you think he loved me true? Tama ba ang ginawa kong pag-iwan sa kanya at ayusin ang sarili ko? Tama rin ba na umasa ako that someday we're gonna be together again? What can I do, John? Please give me some advice. Sincerely yours, Miss Day Dreamer. I was not so happy being lonely, living without you. So I prayed so hard for your love in my heart. I'm so in love with you Cause to live without your love Like the sun that shines above Is the magic of the changes in my life Miss Daydreamer, thank you very much for sending me your letter. And thank you for your trust in me. Sometimes, dumadating sa buhay natin ang isang taong pilit mo mang kalimutan, hahanap-hanapin mo pa rin. And even though you said that you've loved many times already, still, there is this someone na gugustuhin mong makasama for the rest of your life. No matter what happened and no matter what he did to you, you're still ending up loving the person without realizing that he's not the only one for you. Miss Daydreamer, you're such a great lover because 
You give everything to someone you love. You didn't even think na dapat nagtitira ka rin para sa sarili mo. Sometimes, we just close our eyes and making ourselves blind in accepting the reality just because we are afraid of losing someone we love. We never thought of what would be the consequences. And for as long as we are happy being together, no matter how much pain we get from that relationship, okay lang. Dahil ayaw natin siyang mawala. Miss Daydreamer, there is this saying na kapag hindi mo pinaghirapan ang isang bagay, pag nawala ito sa'yo, okay lang at madali lang tanggapin ito para sa atin. Pero kapag pinaghirapan mo ang isang bagay, kahit gusto mang mawala nito sa'yo, hindi ka pa rin papayag dahil alam mong masasaktan ka at manghihinayang ka. Gagawa at gagawa ka pa rin ng paraan para ito ay bumalik sa'yo. Yan sana dapat ang ginawa ng ex-boyfriend mo kung talagang mahal ka niya. When you decided to break him up, though he said he can't afford to lose you, still, he never exerted any effort to win you back. As they say, action speaks louder than words. Kahit sinabi niya sa'yo na ayaw kanyang mawala dahil hindi niya kaya, pero wala pa rin siyang ginawa to save your relationship. It was also you who found out that he exerted so much effort for the girl. Lalo na nung nanliligaw pa lamang ito sa kanya. And it was also you who said that he never exerted any effort bago pa lamang naging kayo at sa buong three years ng inyong pagsasama bilang magkasintahan. Miss Daydreamer, If you feel na hindi ka na pinapahalagan pa ng isang tao at ikaw na lamang ang tanging gumagawa ng effort just to maintain your relationship, no matter how much you love him, your love is still not worth giving. Maybe he doesn't love you that much. Reason why he never exerted efforts during your relationship. Miss Daydreamer, It is just normal sometimes to feel na mahal mo pa ang isang ex-lover, lalo na kung muli kayong magkikita. Pero kung alam mong madudurog ang puso mo kapag nakita mo siya, lalo na kapag magkasama sila, it is only right to control yourself, especially your feelings, when you know na wala na itong pupuntahan. Miss Daydreamer, I can say that there's nothing wrong when you decide to break him up para hanapin at ayusin ang sarili mo. And one advantage of that is you were able to bring back the old you at nagkaroon ka rin ng peace of mind dyan sa sarili mo. And you said that you became a better person. I know you are okay now. And you can carry yourself. I think it will be better if you stop hoping that someday you will be together again. For I know that this is not healthy for you. And it will just keep you hoping for something na hindi mo naman alam kung mangyayari pa sa buhay mo. How can you totally move on if you are still hoping na magkakabalikan pa kayo? And the question is, what if it didn't happen? Miss Daydreamer, as I always say, there's a lot of fish in the ocean. He's not the only one na pwede mong mahalin. The reason why you're not yet ready to love again, it's because you are still hoping that someday you will be together again. If you will only try to give yourself a chance to find someone, sooner or later, you will be meeting the person who will replace him in your heart. 
the one you can call Mr. Right. And you'll say to yourself, Thank God I found him. And what a fool I was because I've wasted so much of my time waiting for my ex. Miss Daydreamer, all you need is a true and total acceptance. But remember, do not force yourself to love again when you know you are not yet ready. I know there are more great opportunities waiting for you ahead. It is not yet the end of your love story, girl. Only time can tell. And if you really meant to be with each other, whatever you do, wherever you go, whoever you are with, God will make way and your paths will cross again. Thank you so much, Miss Daydreamer, for writing me your letter. And good luck to you. Wish I could be the one The one who could give you love The kind of love you really need Wish I could say to you That I'm always there with you But baby, that's not me He needs someone Willing to give the heart and soul to you Promise you for love Baby, that's all that I can do I can say that I'll be all you need But that would be a lie I know I'd only hurt you I know I'd only make you cry Beside you in the warmth of the light 